Hi, this is Nick Myron with the Big Y Fly Company, and today we're going to be talking about how to spool your fly line and backing onto your fly reel. So today we're fishing on a small creek, and we're fishing with a three-weight fly rod with a matching three, four-weight Big Y Fly reel, and we're going to be spooling it with a three-weight weight forward Big Y Fly line. We've also got some 20-pound backing that we're going to be using. So how we're going to attach our backing to our fly reel is by a knot known as the arbor knot. It's in a very simple knot and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. All you do, take the end of the line out of your spool, put it through the spool of your reel, so it sits on the arbor all the way around. All right, now you have your two ends in your spool. So from there, all you do is you take the tag end side and you make a knot around the main line. So you take this and you make a normal knot just around that main line. So you can see I'm tightening it up, tightening it up. All right. now. In order to keep this knot from moving, we're going to take our tag end and we're going to put just a normal standard knot to stop it from coming all the way out. But rather than going through once, I'm going to go through twice in order to make the knot a little bit bigger. And you'll see why that's important here in a second. So then all you do is you take that, tighten it up. You've got this little knot here as a stop. And now when I tighten this up, this knot that I just made is going to go ahead and keep it from sliding all the way out. So you can see, once I tighten this, that knot slid all the way to the end and that's what's holding it. And that's all there is to it. Alright, now that we've got our backing tied to our spool of our reel, and I cut the tag end of that arbor knot, all there's left to do is actually spool the line onto the reel. Now I'm using a three weight reel here, three four weight actually. So I'm gonna put on about, oh, 40 yards or so. And that number is just gonna depend on, on how, what size reel you're gonna use. You can see it takes a little bit just to get it started. Just go loose. And then just start reeling. Now that we have our backing onto our fly reel, we're going to take the end of this backing and we're going to attach it to our fly line with a knot known as the Albright knot. Now, be forewarned, this knot is a little bit tricky, so it may be hard to see on this video, but I'm going to provide a link to a diagram that's a lot easier to learn this knot, but I'm going to show you here anyways. So first things first, take the fly line put a U in it, just like that. Shorten up the U a little bit. Then you take your backing and you stick it through this U, just like that. Take the tag end of that backing, give yourself, I don't know, four or five inches. And now you're gonna wrap that U and the backing in evenly spaced wraps four to five times. Takes a little finesse here to get these wraps even, but take the time to do it. Otherwise in the end, it's not gonna turn out. Alright, so I've got my wraps. They're in between my thumbs so you can't see them. But now what we're going to do is you can see the direction that this end of this backing is going through this U this way. So we're going to take our tag end here and go through the opposite direction. Like that. 
And now all you do is you pull tight. You can see those loops coming together. You pull. And don't pull these two all the way tight right away. You need to pull the tag ends also evenly so that your knot cinches down to the end of that U. All right, now that we've got our Albright knot tied, all we need to do is finish spooling this fly line onto this reel. And it's a lot easier if you put the reel on your rod And then I'm gonna show you a little trick. These spools always have a hole in them. Just take your stick, put it through there, and then you can hold, you can do it yourself or have a buddy hold it. And just reel away. All right, now that we're done with spooling up our reel with the backing and fly line, we're gonna take a close look here and show you an important thing to notice. The distance, I've got a little bit of space between my fly line and the frame of the spool, and that's important. If you put too much backing on, your fly line is actually gonna rub up against your spool, and that's not good. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing the amount of backing to put on, that you wanna make sure you don't put too much on. All right, so all that's left to do now is to attach our leader to our fly line. And all these big Y fly lines have a loop built into them. It makes it really handy to attach these leaders that also have a loop. So all you do, take the loop of your leader, put the fly line through it, then take the end of your leader, and put that end through the loop of the fly line. And then just keep pulling that end all the way through. You can see what's gonna happen here is those loops are gonna come together. You're gonna push the loop knot over. Pull tight. And you got a loop to loop connection there. And that's it. Thread it through the eyes, tie your fly on, and you're fishing. I hope you guys learned something from this video, and uh, I hope to see you on the water. Tight lines. See you next time.